Welcome everyone to Sengoku Dynasty. Today we are jumping into this for the very first time. It just recently launched into 1.0 and I'm curious to see how it's doing. So with that said, we're hitting new game. Let's get right into it. Select your game mode. Uh, we'll just go with normal. See how that is. And we'll, uh, we'll see what this game's got in store. Probably the last type of game that I played Similar to this was the Medieval Dynasty, but I didn't get too far into that one. So we'll see if this one actually captures me a little bit more. I do like the, uh, definitely the style of it, the Japanese Asian-esque to it. Of course, it's really cool. But let's, uh, let's actually see what it's like. All right, here we go. Face details. Okay, so we got a decent amount of character customization here. Oh, okay, maybe not too in depth, but I, yeah. Because he only got like three faces, but still. I actually didn't know that there was going to be character customization like this. All right, what about hair? He has three different hairstyles. I'll go with the full beard. Rather than being bald. I think that works. I guess you're kind of just stuck being a middle-aged man, an old man, or uh, another middle-aged man, I guess. Let's go with this one. All right, let's do it. Next. Uh, I don't know. We'll just go cast this. Totally not Asian at all, but that's Daimyo no Ichizon wa Kuni o Hino Umi e to kaeta. Sore kara Kokyo no Mura o Hanare, Hitotsuki. Michinaki Michio Aruki Tsuzuketa. Tokini wa Tozoku ni dekwashi. Arumono wa Yamai o Wazrata. Yuku saki saki de miru koke ga Yukusano o Soroshita o Monogata teita.夜になると収穫できなかった畑のことを思い出す。それに家族のこと、子供たちや村に住む人々のことを置き去りにしてきたご先祖様や村の神様には許しを請うばかり。ただ願うは、願うはあの伝説の平民の持ちたる国で、また
see what we got here. All right, let's get down the road. Your travel companion. There they are. Aiko? You're alive. When the ship went down, oh gods, don't move, you're hurt. Be all right, dude. I'm just, it's just some cold. Stay here, we need to start a fire. Uh, wait, they didn't say anything else. Okay. I'll need some tools to set it up. I'll be back in a moment. Gather stones. Okay. Do we need three? Handcraft and axe. Cut down a tree and collect a log. Trees provide the most important building resource like sticks, logs, and planks. Cut down a tree, hit it with the axe. Pretty straightforward. Plank or firewood production. First do bark a log with an axe. To get sticks and add Z. Use to get bark. Cut the tree down. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. Are we just putting this into our inventory? <laughs> Handcraft a hammer. Okay. So now, let's see, do we go back to this handcraft? Wooden hammer. Hammers allow you to build all types of structures. Okay. That's very similar to how uh, the Medieval Dynasty game was like. Use a hammer to build a campfire. Is it their keybind for it? Did I miss it? Let me take a look here. Handcrafting menu, emotes menu, a ton of quick slot stuff, primary action. I thought I made it, but wooden hammer collected. Okay, here's the inventory screen. Okay, I guess we have to put it into a slot. There we go. Use a hammer to build a campfire. Open menu. Go basic structures, I'm guessing. Yep, campfire. Make it right next to her. Not enough resources. We need more stone. Luckily, it seems like we have plenty of in inventory for this. Raw meats, roots, and berries will keep you fed for uh, not for only so long. Not to mention the unprocessed foods have a high chance of making you poisoned or sick. Talk to Aiko. Doing better now? Thank you. I'm going to be all right. I have some gobo roots for us to snack on. Here, take some. We can eat it together. But what do we do now? We have supplies on the ship. Here, we have nothing. When do we move on? We don't move on. We can't spend our lives running away. Look around. There's fertile land, tall trees, fresh water. And I don't see any soldiers guarding from them from ordinary folk. I believed in the legend of the peasant king, and I don't intend to stop now. Maybe you're right. But where do we start? Is this even a village over there, or is it just ruined? I'll go take a look around. I'm sure I can convince someone to help us. Go to the nearest village. Ah. This kind of reminds me uh, a little bit, a little bit of uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is a game that I, I want to go back to. It's been a while since I played it, and the second one is coming out like early next year. Mining deposits with the pickaxe. There are many mining deposits. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. 
There's somebody over there. There's somebody fishing down there, actually. Let's go have a little chat. Fisherman. What do you want? Is this peasant kingdom? <laughs> Are they really calling us that? So it's not? It sure is now. I like the sound of it. The peasant kingdom. And I think we deserve it. I haven't heard of any other province that would shake off the lords. Okay. That's all he said. All right, I'm just going to follow into the village. Soji village discovered. Oh, there's a fast travel location. That's cool. On the map, you can track progression toward becoming the Daimo by liberating numerous regions of the Nada Valley. Note that the region's overlay can be turned off on and off. To liberate li regions, you have to defeat faction leaders and restore the local infrastructure. Liberating a, a region will grant you one-time reward for massive Dynasty XP boost, as well as a unique recipe unlock. It will also allow workers living in the liberated region to exploit its unique resources like various various ores needed to upgrade your gear. Wait, that's actually... I, I didn't know it was that in-depth. I thought it was just like you're building... A place to live and survive and that's it I didn't realize there's like bosses and leaders to take down that's kind of cool it's like a survival ghost of Tsushima where you you create your own story I guess you could say ask for help yes. My friend and I almost died in a shipwreck. You have to help us settle here. Ah, that was right. That was you. I saw how you cared for your friend. It's really touching. I must say, I must say, I may have misjudged you at first. I'd be glad to welcome you here if it were up to me, but it isn't. Every new settlement needs permission from the abbot up in the Nata Zorin G Temple. What about rebuilding? Do I need permission for that? You mean this old place, Sojoji? The Soji? The abbot could have some objections, but, you know, your plan is so wild it could just work. A bell tower is the heart of the village, so the Soji's tower is in the ruins, but luckily for you, I found the old bell in the ruins. I meant to sell it, but it's too heavy to carry. Here, take it. Make it ring out. Where should I put the bell tower? It's up to you. You can try to literally... Literally rebuild Sosoji here, or you can take the bell and place it anywhere you like. Villages. Bell towers are very important structures, and a radius around them designates your village, an area where you can build most structures. You can also use it to fast travel between towers so you have built or encountered. Most importantly, you can use it to progress the game by ending the current season and starting the next one. Build your first village anywhere you want, despite... Uh, decide to settle in the ruins of Sosoji and stay close to help its denizens or explore the map and find a spot that more suits your style. If you don't find the perfect location on your first try when you progress the story, increase your dynasty legend and ask the local about the abbot for permission. You will eventually get more bells and opportunity to build more villages. Alright, that's pretty Shut cool. Up, you can Find a good spot for your village and build a bell tower. Yeah, of course. I'll build it, build it around here. So we got to go back into this. Take the wooden hammer out. Basic structures. Is it under here? No. Village structures. Bell tower. I don't know like how close I should build it. Uh, sure, I'm gonna build it right here. I need more logs. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised at how well this is running. It's running way better than I expected. Alright. 
Cut that. Get back over here. The game looks pretty good, too. I mean, it's definitely very pretty. Dynasty Legend. You have just gained enough Dynasty XP to increase your Dynasty Legend level. It, measure, it is the measure of your Dynasty's prestige and respect in Nada Valley. Leveled up by re recruiting refugees into your Dynasty, completing the most important quests, and constructing special projects you encounter in the world. Dynasty Legend is essential to your progression. Higher levels will acquire or will allow you to unlock better recipes and technologies. However, some of them you may be able to acquire in a different way by completing quests or purchasing recipe blueprints from traders. There we go. So can we, okay, tear down with any axe. So we can like get all the resources from these houses. All right, I'm gonna build the first harvest by hand. We grab all of these. I'll check in a second what to do with the uh, Wait, player village one. <laughs> Two days remaining until season change possible. Okay. I'll build the house right here. My goal here is I probably won't break everything down in this village until I have something ready to take place there. So, let's try this. Village structures. Is it going to be like small house? Building. Housing building. Small house. Boom. Buildings are the backbone of a village, serving as houses, workplaces, or storage spaces. Their construction process is divided into stages. Each stage must be complete before the next one. You can also modify the certain building parts at any time. Change their type or material. Note that most buildings require you to furnish them before construction is complete. Okay. So we're going to place this one right here. I actually like this style of uh, a building these days. Like I, I love that you can just put simply put down a blueprint and put it together piece by piece especially as somebody who's not as creative when it comes to building your own house i'm not an architect i'm so bad at it and it goes for almost any game so like i'd rather just find a blueprint or start with a blueprint that i like and use that that go in rather than go in and individually customize and build it myself. Alright, we're gonna need a, a lot of these, so I'm just gonna cut down as many as I can. Oh, stamina is down. my thing break oh no it broke okay hopefully the durability gets better or we get better items i like that if you <laughs> if you cut it down before it falls fast enough, then you can collect everything. 
Okay, I do want to check my skill points. Let me cut one or two more trees down. Oh. Ooh, it's a burnt tree. Okay, so we get charcoal from that. Get this big tree. Oh, my stamina regen. And then it all comes falling down. Okay. Pretty sure there was one more log here somewhere. A bunch of unripe. Ooh. I guess I should have waited. Berries there. We're so fast. Okay. I keep forgetting that the house is right here in front of us, but we can't see it unless if we have this enabled. All right, so now can we actually start building it? So you can modify the material type. Wow, this is going faster than I expected. I thought it was going to take way more materials. Rest up for a second. Right, Dynasty. Hold on, let me check my Dynasty level. So right here, we can see Legend. Way of the leader. So we have crop caretakers. Dynasty farming skills improve. All crops grow faster. This allows you to potentially harvest them more times per season. Reduce the meal need consumption for your villagers. And Abisu's boon. Increase your luck. You will find more loot in abandoned chest fallen enemy. Okay, this is actually, uh, that's pretty cool. More than I expected. Oh, uh, then there's craftsman, warrior, and monk. Oh my gosh. Stamina, cost of axes. Okay. Way of the warrior, animal trophy hunter. Let's go with, honestly, since we're going to be doing a lot of this and we're not specifically a, a leader just yet let's go with skillful constructor Lock perfect. how many points do i have just one no okay i have two cool lumberjack that next time maybe we'll do skillful miner and we're out of stick so how do we get more sticks again. Ooh. Do we drop the... Uh, okay, I want to see. We drop one of these. Goal for cutting logs into planks with an improved stone head. Okay, so I think we just need sticks then. Alright. Yeah, it's not... I was looking to see if this would cut the logs up into sticks. But no, it looks like you actually have to go and grab them. So I think that's from, like, bushes. Yep. Gobo plant.
I'll just grab as much as I can. Yeah, this game is, I mean, from the little bit that I've seen so far, this seems pretty cool. I want, there's almost part of me that's like, man, I kind of wish I like live stream this instead. Cause I could actually see myself getting into a good a bit, a good bit of this. Something about the vibes here. By the way, if you are looking for some other simulator games, uh, I've been doing a little bit of testing this week. I played a bit of farming simulator for the first time. I mean, this isn't exactly a simulator, but it's a survival game. So if you do like that style, feel free to check that out too. I never played any of the previous ones, but it was interesting. It was a cool start. We're about 25 minutes into this so far, which by the way, if you haven't already, if you are enjoying it, leaving likes does help a ton. It lets me know what to continue playing, what to record, all that fun stuff. And if you got any suggestions, if you have been diving into this before early access or just honestly looking for first impressions, then feel free to leave any comment. Because it, it really does help a ton. All right. We got a bunch of sticks there. We got 114. Let's see if I can go back and put this together. Uh, right. Use this. Oh, around. Build a roof for your house. Oh boy. Wait, wooden hammer was destroyed, but it just swapped to the other one. Nice. Build essential furniture inside your house. low on grass you've just built furniture some buildings require you to construct mandatory furniture to be completed others are optional you can also add or remove them as you see fit you can also upgrade or change the type of the existing furniture with the hammer in hand at the uh, aim at the furniture or its ghost and use the change type interaction i need more stone for this ah oh. Of course, it's at 99%. All right, go grab some stone then. Get back out there. I'm assuming, wait, can I use this stone? Medium copper ore. Let me see if I have enough to make like an ax. Nope, I would need more stone to make an ax. You know, that makes sense. That does make sense right there. There's a stone. Crow's nest. Oh, I feel bad. Okay. We'll grab a bunch of stones here. They actually make a pickaxe. Legend XP acquired. What else can we make here? I'll make one of these too, just so we have it. Can you grab in the stone? Yeah, this game runs great. I know I've said it a few times, but it's impressive because a lot of like I don't know, maybe go back five years and I feel like survival games a lot of times had so much going on in them that 
I guess the engines just didn't run great. I'm not sure what engine this is running on, but... Better than I, I thought, like I've been saying. Flip this regen. Yeah, I don't know. Something about the third person camera I think is a little odd too. So I'll stick with the, uh, this one for now. Where's the entrance? Here we go. Boom. No more couch surfing. How is that a rare achievement for everybody that has this game? That's <laughs> you would think that more people have that. Villagers recruitment. They will not be alone in your efforts to rebuild not a valley. To recruit any refugee, you need to ask them if they are willing to join. Your friend Aiko is no exception. If they agree, you need to prepare a spare bed for them. Next, open the Dynasty Management menu and go to the Population tab and look for people with the Refugee tag. Assigning them beds will make them villagers and your new responsibility. Oh boy. Basics at first, more advanced later. You need, uh, you are expected to satisfy your villagers' needs. Each day, your people will demand and consume food, beverages, and other goods stored in your Dynasty storage. Fail to satisfy their needs and your villagers' happiness will decrease. Low happiness means a chance to leave you forever. Increase consumption and provide good enough goods to make your people happy. Fortunately, the villagers will not only are not only about demands, they are also about effective workforce. Use them to grow, produce enough items. Okay. Nice. But we can also give them jobs. Reach Dynasty Level 7 by recruiting refugees, completing special projects, or quests. Two perks unlock. Open the gates. What do we have here? Okay, so there's multiple other quests too. That's the open the gates one. Here's the offer to help Tashichi. Road to renewal. And then there's side quests too. Right. Yeah, see, this is what I've always wanted in survival games, is the ability to... Oh, okay, so it levels up different things. Oh, I see. I didn't realize. Um, But back to what I was saying. I've always wanted games or survival games that have quests. Even though, yes, they d there's no voice acting or anything like that. Like, they say one line of dialogue. But still. It gives more of that objective feeling. Alright, so let's grab a few of these. Make it so they're less hungry. And then I'm going to take the crop... So each of these level differently. Crafting recipes, completing structures. I like that. Okay, so that's Toshi Toshichi. Let me go ask Aiko. And how would I make a... So if I go furniture, house furniture, beds, sleeping mat. Oh, nice. I, lo I love that it actually makes the grid. That's so nice. Okay, cool. So you can actually just hold, too. You don't have to let go every time. Alright. Let me go get Ico. Oh. Oh. Quick, it's getting dark. Oh, 
boy. We'll go back and sleep for the night. Is there a save? Yeah, let me go ahead and save too. Oh, uh, what was that? I thought that was like a wolf or something. For a second. Doing better? Doing what I can see. Uh, soon we'll have a thriving village here. Wait, how do I... Okay, dynasty. Dynasty management. Managing your dynasty is the best way to achieve prosperity. It allows you to automate some of the pro production to make your life, own life easier. The village tab. Oh my gosh, there's so much, so much here. In this tab, you will find a list of your villagers. Okay. Can I name the village? Home. No, not home F. Just home. Home. Population tab. Homeless. Assign home. Small house. Oh, okay. So I have to actually assign myself. Workplace job, or yeah, workplace tab has a bunch of do jobs basically. Priorities. I can't invite uh, Ico. Okay, maybe I have to do the uh, other quests. Reach Dynasty level 7 by recruiting refugees. We go back to this Dynasty. Yeah. Okay. Go back and sleep into the morning, maybe? We could also recruit that fisherman, maybe. I'm surprised they're not the first person we walk over to and say, Hey, will you join our village? Okay, which one is actually mine? You can tell me. Uh, let's sleep until... Yeah. Sleep until morning. Eat and drink to prevent loss. Where is the, uh, I thought they gave me some food. Oh, is it this stuff? Edible root of a gobo plant. An important ingredient for cooking. I'm looking at it at the right here. And also, maybe I can cook something. Ah, cooked gobo. That's better. Then go into my inventory. Probably going to be much more filling. Oh, so you can crack, craft <laughs> multiple. Say cracked because we're cooking some eggs. Almost there. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I, I like this game so far. It's pretty cool. Much better. Look at that. 92 out of 100, I'll take it. Okay. 
Oh, there's somebody else here now. Who's this? Refugee? Mikao wo mite. What are you looking for here? A new life. What's wrong with the old one? It's just that it ended. My parents died. Our home, home was miserable enough, so I decided it was time to move on. Build a house in the tiny field. I'm young, so it'll be easy me, for me to find work somewhere else. Another house? A wife, maybe? Why don't you come to live with us? There's always a place for someone like you here. I just realized right now, I next to nothing, I really hope you'll find space for me. Of course, sir. Well, let's say. Alright. So I'll have to build a, a house or something for them. Are there any other villages around here? There's Seiji, the forester's village. They can be a bit wild, but they do provide wood for the whole valley. If you want to learn hunting or woodworking, Seiji is the place to go. Aratani is a farming community. They're wary of strangers, but if you convince them, you can learn a lot about cultivating the land. Iwasaki is where the mines are and the ironworks. And working conditions are hard, but definitely is a place to visit. Nothing happens in the valley without the consent of Yorinji Temple. If you develop your village, you have to talk to them. And then there's finally Injiro. It'd be dangerous to see this is where the valley's bandits have their headquarters. Do we still have that quest for him? You need any help with anything? Build the house. That's impressive. Maybe you should expand, build a foraging or woodcutter hut. But overall, time to settle down, eh? No, it's just the beginning. I want to build a place for everyone. Everyone, my friends, my neighbors, everyone from back home, other wanderers like me. Wait, wait, this is going too far. The people here are afraid and mistrustful. They will never accept a whole flock of uh, vagrants settling here. I convince you, don't you think I can convince them as well? It won't be that easy with other, with the others. Or you had to start slow and not scare everyone with that little vision of yours. People have to get to know you first, and the best way to make introductions is to offer to help. First person I need help I need to help is Iko. And finally offer her a place to live. Ah, oh, so I should have talked to him first. But do go on. Who should I talk to? I can think of three people worth talking to. A warrior, a priestess, and impure. Tell me about the warrior. Kengoyo the warrior, he's a bit well. Fancy is himself a protector of the people. He puts on an air of a warrior, but he also has no lineage to speak of. He's more one of us. Well respected by some, hated by others. Okay, what about the priestess? Chiyomi is our Miko, a priestess in charge of local shrines. She's a gentlewoman worried all the kami, the spirits, divine spirits, turned away from us. Or actually, that's we have turned away from them. Talk to her and maybe you can consult, cons console her. Console her. <laughs> There's so much reading here. And I'm struggling and I apologize. 45 minutes in, if you're still here, I appreciate you. Tell me the impure. Matsumaru is a proud Ita and impure from Seiji. As all the impure, he lives between the earthly world and the divine realm. He does things that are spiritually polluted, like burying the dead or disposing of animal carcasses. Only those living close to the spirits can do these things, and I think he's carrying an especially big burden right now. Talk to him, maybe you'll be able to take some of the weight off his shoulders. It's enough for now. Help locals in Sosoji. See the quest tab, ask Ico to join your village. Okay, so I should have did that earlier. Oh, and I see a bunch of uh, markers on the map. Yeah, wow. That's what I was missing. I should have talked to him earlier. Or after we built the house. I keep right-clicking 
middle mouse button. I'm trying to put that away so that way I can actually go and recruit them. Aiko! I carry good news. The village is reborn. Come join me. You're unbelievable. That makes me so happy. Just tell me where my house is and I'll get to work. Okay. So now we can go to Dynasty. Ico. Sign home. Home. Small house. Villager needs. As you have gained your first villager, you have also taken upon the responsibility to take care of their basic needs. Each day, your people will consume various goods stored in Dynasty storage. Consumed amount will expand the more refugees you recruit. For now, villagers will only require meals. Okay. Wait, what is that? I see a thing in the top left. Oh, is it somebody doesn't have a job and somebody doesn't have a shelter? Well, I feel like before I start going out and doing quests, I should start building this shelter for them. All right, let's uh, pull out our axe. Go three. My only complaint is the, uh, seems like your stuff doesn't last too long. What, what is happening? Oh, is that the pickaxe? I think that's the pickaxe. Oh, it's number one. That's why. I also wonder, Ooh, I guess we'll find out in a second here. Buildings, housing, small house. I wish I could see. Rotate. Oh, oh. Rotate right. Okay. A little better than I thought. Like, I wonder if I can get people to build. Because that would be kind of cool if I could have them automatically go to Dynasty. Jobs. Sign job. I guess not. Hello? Oh, there we go. Like, if they could start building and helping put this together, that would be so nice. But I guess not. Even if it wasn't fast, some sort of resources. Maybe, maybe there is a way though, down the line. Like maybe if we set up a job board or something, we can have villagers who are unemployed help build structures or collect materials. Let's see. Hold on. Let me uh, let me just take a quick look. Basic structures. So if we go to buildings, production buildings, forager's hut. Can host other jobs. Okay. So these can host different types of jobs for people to do. Mansion structure. <laughs> A large mansion house. 
and build your own mansion eventually. General storage, food storage. Service buildings. E house, tavern. Try putting this together as much as I can. Yeah, it's been pretty cool so far, though. Oh, wait, no. That's not what I need. I need this wooden. Better than I expected. And I don't mind the, uh, the building here. But maybe I'll do a few more episodes. See how it does. I mean, that's the plan typically anyways. We are out of grass. We need to go touch grass. Let's see, is there anything else? Modify material. as much as I can here. The nice thing is, I mean, it, as far as I can tell, it seems like the inventory system is pretty forgiving. So, starting out, it's not too bad. Dynasty, village, population, refugee departing, sign home, home, small house, home. Villager happiness. Upon taking refugees into your dynasty, you become responsible for the happiness. There are six levels. Angry, disappointed, content, happy, joyful, ecstatic. Okay. We got a home for them. Unripe fruit has lost its freshness. Let's see. What quest do we have? Or side quest. So here's all the people that we need to go talk to. Help locals and the Soji. See the quest tab. Where are they at? Oh. Is that over here? Mountain region and Jiro Rebels region. The Soji region. Oh, okay. So it's this entire area I see. So Soji Mountain, Iwasaki, Central Plains, and Jiro Red Rebel, Seiji, Riverbanks. Okay. That's cool. And there's also a like there's a spot back there. Oh, you can demolish any structure. Oh, okay. That's only if you're uh, you've already destroyed it, though. Paths or roads, campfire, furniture buildings. How many uh, things can you have in one house, I wonder? Go furniture? Beds, I mean. Small containers, large containers. Things stored in personal containers will not be used in the dynasty production process and are subject to decay. Seating arrangements, tables, light sources, weapon racks. And make another sleeping mat. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to... Hold on. 
Oh. oh. That is so convenient. Oh, I love that. Let's see if I can put like three in here. Oh, cannot place more of this type. Okay, so you can only have two per house. That makes sense. All right, let's see if I can make a, uh, like a job post or something. Buildings, productions. No, we need more before we can do that. Storage. We can make general storage though. I'm gonna tear this down and then make this the general storage building. Now let's go, oh, not that, not this. Wait. Storage, general storage. Right by the front, so that way we have access to everything we need. Okay, nice. I actually like setting this up in the way I have been. That way, otherwise, I wouldn't know where to put every house or building. It would be so random. Okay, we need more logs. Go chop down a tree. Get a few of these. And my stone axe was destroyed. down too. There's somebody right there. I don't want to take in too many people just yet though because if I do then we're going to run into some probably issues. I wonder if I should just prioritize setting up the uh, or doing the quest first. My dog says hello. You're all right. Oh yeah. He probably thinks it's five o'clock, but it's not yet. Not just yet. More sticks. Okay. Yeah, we need a lot of sticks here. That's gonna give us grass. We need bushes. Okay, sometimes it gives me three, sometimes it gives me two. Grab like a hundred. That way we're set for a bit. Try not to take the unripe fruit. Sixty-seven, and I take the unripe fruit fruit there. <laughs> Sixty-nine. Almost got it. It was actually one of those games that I kind of wish I did do a stream of. Instead, I didn't realize I was going to enjoy this as much as I have been. All right. And let's grab that one. Boom. A hundred on the dot. Put this house together, or not house, storage together. And 
another one. I'm definitely glad that I, uh, nice. Uh, that's what exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm glad that I put the, uh, points into the building, the construction one. All right. And we got more too. So let's upgrade this again. And then we have the next tier seasoned lumberjack. Prior specific perk to be unlocked. Your tools longer when chopping wood. Durability costs using axe uh, decreases. You're used to working hard for yourself in your dynasty. Your maximum stamina increases. Skills as a farmer improve. You tire slower when working the field or harvesting crop. I haven't done that yet. Um, I think I'll go for... Oh, do you have to have this complete all the way to be able to do this one? Require specific perk to be unlocked. Skillful Lumberjack. I don't know. We'll do this for now at least. It requires less stamina now. Which I definitely see my stamina going down way slower. Put this together. All right, we're gonna need to get more grass. Yep. Grab some of that. Harvesting some more would be really nice, but I think this is kind of where we're at right now. Harvest with ha by hand or comma. I wonder if I can make one of those. Oh. No. What is a comma? Nah, not right now at least. Okay. That might be enough. Back over here. Are we hitting it? Hello? There we go. It's like a specific spot you have to, to hit it in. Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> what the heck? Why are they in here now? You're attacking this target. <laughs> uh, clear ghost area to make... Okay, there we go. Jeez. Oh, they're cleaning the place. Open Dynasty General Storage. Oh, so we do have a torch. Nice. Now, uh, let's see. Can we make any assignments to the Dynasty for, like, the village there? Can we assign a job? No. We cannot. A dynasty. Uh oh. We're down in meals. We're going down, at least. Okay, cool. Let me save. Create new save again. All right, well, we are going to actually chill in this episode. If you did end up enjoying it, leaving likes, like I said earlier, it does help a ton. I appreciate all the support so far. If you have been watching this, uh, thank you for making it to the end. But that's going to be it for right now. I am going to try to record another episode probably the next day or so. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. For now, that's it, though. Go in the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.